This is the future. Well, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. And look at what I got myself for my birthday. I've always wanted to build a kind of a Lego type car or Lego type project, but they are very expensive as you guys know. So here at our local China shop, I saw this one, which is Lego knockoff thing, but the price was pretty good and I decided to buy it. Since it also has a remote control and everything and to do it yourself and I've honestly always liked building um, model kits since I was little. You know you used to get those airplanes and ships that you cut out the pieces and you took the glue and you built them. Unfortunately sometimes people are cleaning in the house they broke my stuff and so I just stopped building them. And I actually refused anyone to come into my room at all from that time onwards and I clean my room myself because they would just come and break your stuff. So this is the first time that I've built a model in a very very long time. So let's take a look at this. Opening up the box I find that it is actually a waste of space. They actually use a box that's too big for whatever's inside. That little white box that you saw there is actually empty. And here is your car. So let's see if we can turn this into something that's useful. This is, um, first let me tell you what I like. I like the fact that they give you the one to one scale of each block that's needed on the page. So if you were not sure you can take the block and see if the right size is there. I had to later to figure out what this means. Seems, uh, it turns out that's the sticker. So it already tells you which sticker number goes on which spot. So that's nice. The problem I have with this book is the pictures are too small. I think they could have made the pictures a bit bigger. Like this pin. You see a pin there. Now you're not sure if it's one like this. You no? Know, one like that? Or is it one of this? With a spline. You only figure it out later on once you've built the thing that oh this wasn't the right pin. I think they could have made this a bit bigger just to make it a bit more clear. Like for example, you get these ones and these ones. And in the picture they also look almost the same. So that's the only complaint I have about the manuals. Otherwise, uh, if you put a little bit of thought into it, you can actually um, figure out how to build it. I like how they stuck with the Lego theme on the controller. As you guys can see, it's got Lego at the bottom. Well, it's not Lego, it's whatever they call it. It seems a rip off. But anyway, you've got your on and off button here. You've got, I'm not sure what those two buttons do, but they do something. And then your front and back, left and right. Let's start building this car. So we start off with the base. Um, this is where your front wheels come in, your rear wheels. There's where your battery comes in, you have your on and off switch there. And from this point on, the whole body gets built onto this base. And now, through the magic of editing, I will take you through the entire build. It took me about two days and a few seconds. The other place where I actually got my love for building models was um, from my father. Because uh, at my 13th birthday, Oh, it was a Christmas tree party, yeah, it was a Christmas tree party. He actually bought me a set of McConnor and that kept me busy for hours and hours. I really love the McConnor. Don't look at my sticker work. Stickers and decals are the one thing that I was never ever ever good at putting up, ever. It's a pain in the ass for me. And there we are guys. We took a bag of pieces and we turned it into a car. And actually drives. So 
If you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of our next upload. And to all you guys watching in South Africa as well as internationally, thank you very much for your support. And uh, until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. Cheers.